Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Neon Souls, Season 4, The Reckoning. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Val. Uh, you, you're joining us for our Star Wars 5e campaign. It's been a minute, but we're back bi-weekly like clockwork to keep playing this game uh if uh if sarcasm and irony evades you uh it's been a little bit since we played uh schedules just did not work out over the last month uh so we're gonna just ease right back into our our game here we're playing the star wars fifth edition which is D, &D 5e with uh some star wars like flavor twists to it uh and we're doing it in a non-star wars setting we'll get into our recap here in a moment but first i'm going to talk about things going on on the channel if you're joining us live right now our next regularly scheduled live stream will be on saturday uh we'll be returning with our double header of uh the queer chronicles of the strixhaven quartet uh which van runs uh we're playing dnd fifth edition there uh and then in the afternoon we'll be playing some more blades in the dark for another game that i run uh, called Hearts of Stone, uh, and as I said, we're playing the Blades in the Dark system. Um, that's pretty much it right now. Uh, we're just all full steam ahead with our shows. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and turn these over to my lovely players here to talk about who they are, what they do on and off this channel, and who they are playing tonight, starting as usual with Van. That's me. I'm Van. You can find me on the internet at Van, but Wilder, wherever you can find people on the internet, mostly I hang out in the Discord and stream on Twitch here a few times a week and also over on twitch.tv slash hackrecklessly on Sunday nights playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, tonight I am playing Shiro, uh, who is a Nautilin operative, and I've taken my Monday bit and rolled it over into this game so I can subject more people to my thought experiments. And today's thought experiment is who would you bet on to win in a fight? Pennywise the Dancing Clown, who subsists on fear, or Pinhead, a uh, Delead Cenobite from Hellraiser, who subsists on pain. You're allowed one follow-up question. I don't need a follow-up question. Hi, I'm Rachel and Rachel Elizabeth. Wouldn't. Rachel Elizabeth <laughs> with the in the middle instead of an S. Uh, I am here every other Wednesday, and I am also here on Saturday mornings for D&D 5e, and I am on Hack Recklessly on Sundays playing some D&D 5e, uh, and you can find me at the uh, on the internet at both of those handles in different places. That's up to you to figure out which. Uh, and tonight I am playing Niren, the Zeltron monk, and I'm going to go with Pinhead. That is my answer. Final answer. Do you want to say and why? I will not or... defend it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I won't you don't defend have to. it. That's not part. That's not part of the question. Fair enough. Uh, I guess that brings it to me then. Hi, internet. Hi, mom. It's me. It's Sita. Uh, you can find me at most places on the internet at Mr. Wilt. Uh, check me out on uh, Instagram at John Sita. I actually thought about taking a picture of a food the other day, so I might get back into that. Um, uh, we'll go check that out. Uh, you can mostly find me, though, lurking around in the uh, Discord and chats for these uh, various games, of which I play a couple. Uh, obviously, here every other Wednesday with these beautiful people, as well as every Monday uh, playing Red Jenny. Uh, Val Run said it's great. Come check it out. Um, uh, but in this game tonight, I am playing uh, X008, also known as Splat, um, who is a polymorphous psychic slime creature uh and uh i so i know more about pennywise than pinhead i think i know enough about him pinhead but is pinhead like functionally immortal pinhead has been no, killed pinhead has been killed but is it like a gets banished back to hell kind of thing and... yeah it's sort of well because like figuring out the lament configuration is more about like getting yourself out of the situation than it is about like yeah defeating the cenobites like cenobites can be killed they get like some of them do get killed they're effectively angels if you want to like context wise yeah. Yeah, like, a... that way yeah pinhead I is super powerful but not like unkillable so paul uh pennywise is like fucking eternal fourth dimensional creature but it what's interesting about it is i think it has this really 
kind of weak and limited worldview. And I think that's its, its biggest weakness. And I think it would not be able to figure out the limit configuration and would just, you know, like in a, in a, in a, like a 1v1 just beat him up, I would give it to Pennywise. But in a, like a true slug out to the destruction of the other, I think I got to give it to, to Pinhead and the, the Cinnabites in general. Val, you're allowed to play. Uh, that's yeah, yeah. No, I've been thinking about it. Also, I was giggling because thinking about taking pictures of food and putting it on Instagram is like the Lacroix of like food blogging. Uh, it's the thought of a picture it. of food. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi everyone, I'm Val. Uh, you find me the Kraken's Crown, looking around the internet. I am mostly here, running games and playing occasionally. Uh, I run a, a couple of games on this channel. Um, other than this one, uh, I run the aforementioned Hearts of Stone, playing uh, Blades in the Dark, and then Mondays, like Sita said, uh, also running Red Jenny there, playing the Dragon Age TTRPG, which we are like entering our penultimate arc of at this point. Pen penultimate. Um, like I, I, we're we're getting close, uh, so we'll see after like fifty five episodes. It's been a hit two years. We passed yeah. a year a while back. Oh, we're past a year for sure. Yeah, I, it, I, it's may... been a cool mini series. Yeah, yeah. It's been a very cool <laughs> mini series. Um, and yeah, also over on Hack Recklessly on Sundays. Uh, to answer this question though, so I, I, at first I'm like, all right, you Pennywise can only really be, you can only really kill things that fear it. Yes. If you don't fear Pennywise, then Pennywise can't really do he anything. Apparently, has no power over you. But also. I just don't know what Pinhead can really do to Pennywise because Pennywise doesn't really feel pain either do unless you, know you get that? to it's like true. I guess if Pennywise, it, it kind of feels to me like an unstoppable force and an immovable object. You do like, get one follow up question. Um, is does does Hellraiser, uh, does Pinhead uh, know? the low know how to kill like do both of them know how to kill the other you mean does does pennywise understand like the, the mechanics of configuration and does pinhead understand the ritual of cholt is it the ritual of cholt yeah yeah well pinhead is sort of like an astral being so i imagine i mean pinhead does have the whole thing where like he he has manifested to people of all cultures so yeah. I, yes because th that's yes. the thing is they only beat pennywise like in the books i don't know the movie kind of does it differently but they only beat pennywise by finding it on a conceptual level and yeah I they guess... have to go into their to the mind palace and beat him in there yeah it's really tough uh i think i'd give it to pinhead though um so yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the group okay. on that one pinhead. my reasoning is purely dead by daylight based <laughs> Fair. I'm pulling Fair. no other lore other than the fact that like Pennywise isn't in it, but there is a clown, and I would much rather go against the clown than Pinhead. Yeah, so, if all Pennywise and... could do is walk slowly behind you and throw I throw jars bottles at you. Yeah, it's uh, just purely dead by now. Dead based. I'm like, you know what? What would I rather? Who, who do I? Who do I fear the most when I'm playing Survivor? And yeah, I'm gonna give it to Pinhead. Here's yeah. so I haven't given my answer yet because I love to go last and see what everybody else has to say. Here's my follow-up question, which I will let all three of you answer. Is Pinhead susceptible to the effects of staring directly into the deadlights? That's another question, yeah. Well, I which I assume they, not, because I don't he does not think experience. Not normal, no, because he doesn't experience kind of fear, right? I can't imagine that the Cenobites really experience fear. Fear, right? Uh, yeah. So because that's because really... all like because I imagine for me like emotionally I think fear, if we're talking in like sort of overarching themes like fear, is kind of just an it is a version of pain. It's just not physical. Yeah, it's pain, the expectation right? of it. Yeah, I, like yeah, fear no. can send your body into like literal physical pain. So like, yeah. Well, anyway, those of you I at vote home, for vote in the chat. Pinhead wins. Think? Uh, Next time, I'll have good. another one. Uh, but without any more stalling, uh, y'all ready to get into it? No, I just want to watch Hellraiser. <laughs> well, too bad. Uh, let's get going. I, I've got to get back to my... There we go. 
previously on Neon Souls. Uh, our gang, the the crew of the Velvet Luster, uh, had infiltrated an, the uh, Cosmic Infinity Auction House uh, to steal a couple of items, uh, most notably a goofy keychain, uh, and a data core being held by one of the princes of the cosmic noble houses that make up the ruling forces of the galaxy. I'll let you all decide which one is more important. Uh, the uh, You putting on your, your best attire that you had acquired at uh, the uh, forward fashion uh, the day before, uh, you... Uh, uh, put past yourself off. Uh, you acquired a, an invitation uh, through your new hacker friend. Uh, passing yourself off as like noble or aristocratic attendees, uh, and infiltrated the auction house. Uh, there you saw uh, or met some uh, important figures, uh, recognizing some of them uh, at uh, face value. Um, you saw uh, a few members of the Magna Terra, uh, Cassius Starborn, the or an oracle of the Magna Terra, uh, and uh, Sirius Frostbane, a philosopher, or kind of like this universe's equivalent of like a, uh, a Jedi. Um, you saw them speaking with your target, uh, Prince Justinian Quantus Branriel Avsolisk, uh, the one of the princes of the As, uh, Avsolisk house, uh, and the person who was in possession of your uh, main target for being here. Um, you also saw uh, Vega X, a pop star, uh, also in attendance, and uh, a, a figure who you later, one of you recognized, uh, uh, our friend Splat, uh, recognized and later identified as Boric Fulsador, one of the uh, board members of Gentech. Um, you kind of split up, deciding to tackle this uh, at your own pace. Uh, the you overheard the prince uh speaking with the magna terra and picked up on some, on some tension between the prince and the order uh Niren and shiro approached the prince and convinced him they were spoiled aristocrats there to shake things up and get wild uh you coerced the prince into a game of truth or dare uh eventually daring him to steal an item from the auction uh which he agreed to uh, and later you would join the prince at his hotel room uh, after his meeting with the Magna Terra. Uh, Splat, in disguise as a lizard person, uh, approached the familiar-looking man at the bar, uh, learned his name, uh, Boric, and uh, had an extremely creepy exchange with them. Uh, Splat convinced Boric uh, they were a student and wanted a chance to work at Gentech, Boric exchanged contact information and told Splat he would ensure their application was reviewed. Uh, the auction began as everyone entered the auction house. Splat caught Sirius Frostbane's attention, drawn to them for a moment, uh, and overheard their thoughts, uh, specifically targeted at making sure Niren and Shiro don't interrupt their plans. Uh, that is it. As far as my recap goes, uh, no, so, it lost to Hell to Hellraiser. Uh, <laughs> trying to find a less intense song to use for the auction here. I'm gonna try this one until it inevitably gets a lot wilder. Um, you know, Dark Fantasy Studios goes hard. It does go hard. This is a shout out to Dark Fantasy Studios, who we've bought a fuck ton of their music because it rules. Yeah. Um, the doors of the Cosmic Infinity Auction House open and the series of droids all identifying themselves as Orion stand uh, to greet you as you enter these like gold and green uh, uh, droids standing at attention. Uh, simple designs, uh, but uh, more so for the presentation of this uh, fully autonomous auction house. This is again, way too dramatic. I'm trying to find. We're gonna go back to this one. Um, 
The interior auction hall is a stunning display of both technology and opulent uh, decor. Uh, there are these crystal globes hovering in the air, kind of orbiting around a central uh, dais at the center of the auction house, a, a platform uh, on which you imagine most of the um, items for the auction will be on display throughout the evening. Um, there are that same like golden uh, light uh, trails through here in uh, neon strands. Um, there is comfortable seating for the attendees of the auction house uh, spread around this auditorium in a uh, semicircle around the main platform. Uh, each of these uh, uh, little uh, these seating areas has a table uh, with the uh, a holographic projection of the like party's number on your uh, invitation uh, on display for all of you to eventually kind of meander towards everybody kind of splitting up to their own uh, tables um, plush uh, leather seating uh, uh, comfortable uh, amenities for you to uh, uh, relax and recline during the auction, uh, as well as be waited on by the Orion uh, serving droids. Um, everyone kind of filters in, bit of conversation, kind of coming like muffling uh, as it kind of echoes throughout this uh, domed room. Um, so. The three of you, I assume, head to your table together, or are you splitting up again? Or do you want to have a conversation before you? Uh, I remember. Did we come in together? I don't think you f you fully did, because uh, kind of like the doors open. We can say we can kind of catch it at the moment of like everybody is making their way inside, and y'all can kind of decide what you want to do in this moment. Okay, I think then before anybody sits down, I want to send out a psychic whisper to both of them saying, uh, you know, first of all, uh, Frostbane, I, we sensed his thoughts. He uh, is on to the two of you to some degree or other. He does not want your um, meddling. Uh, also, should we stay separate for now? Should we keep an eye on the two of you from a distance? Well, if our invitations have us sitting together, that doesn't necessarily mean we are together. We can pretend that we don't know each other and make, like, small talk at the table. I guess that wasn't, like, in character. That was, that was, just, that was like, a, just, like, a, I, I would, I guess I wouldn't worry about, like, us splitting up if we want to, like, sit at our table to, like, continue the ruse. Like, we probably just can do that and it not be, like, a thing, you know, like sit down, like, make introductions, like, we don't know each other if we are sitting together. Fair enough. I like it. That works for me. Yeah. Okay. You so don't always sit, sit next to people that you know, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. at these things. Yeah, yeah, it's not like just the two of us, we're gonna have our own table, like. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sure it's, like, six group. to eight people or something, like, at, like, these auction tables, usually. The galas yeah, that I've been to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, somewhere around six, like, per table, so with it just being three of you, um, you wouldn't have a table to yourself uh it seems like that's reserved for maybe like higher ranking vips like you can see the prince has his own table uh and the uh the magnetaria officials have their own table uh some of the others are are sitting together like boric falsador is at a table with uh some other people uh vega x is at a table with with some other people and uh quickly like dominating the conversation there um so yeah, uh, you can uh, you can go and, and sit at uh, at your table together, uh, and uh, continue the charade. Um, as the uh, <clears throat> as you all sit and kind of begin this this ruse or kind of making your introductions to each other, uh, a few moments later, uh, the lights kind of flare for a second and then spotlight at the center of the room, uh, and you see one of the uh, a couple of the Orion uh, droids are uh, kind of step up onto the platform. At there are like several walkways that lead up to the center, four walkways that lead up to the center here. Um, and uh but 
at the center of the platform, there's just kind of a projection that flares to life of a uh, green and gold like orb that is, uh, kind of fluctuates and floats there. And as it pulses, a voice is kind of projected out uh, across the facility and says, Welcome, attendees, to the Cosmic Infinity Auction. Thank you for your polite attendance here this evening. We do hope we can accommodate all of you in enjoying tonight's event. The auction will begin in a moment with our first round of, with our first item up for bidding. However, if you wish to peruse the full menu up for uh, purchase this evening, you may do so at your consoles on the table. The bidding will begin shortly. Uh, and the projection flares away um and yeah you can see on the table there's like uh at each space uh part of the table kind of uh glows to life and there is a uh display in front of you that you can use to uh look through the uh items up for auction this evening sorry i'm trying to remember what i'm good at <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not much that would be too useful in this situation. I mean, I'm good at sleight of hand. <laughs> no, I, but, think, uh... I think Shiro's just kind of like continuing the bit like, oh, we're rich and bored and yeah, what's like the what's like the weird thing we can buy and yeah, I think we're just probably like looking through the items and like giggling at like who would pay money for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see that there are uh, five items that are up for auction this evening um, that uh, gives like some minor details on like uh, the if there is a seller listed like the the sell some of them are anonymous uh, others have sellers listed um, it may give like a little description of like what the item is uh, but yeah there are five items and it gives the um, the order that they are going to be auctioned off in uh, the first one uh, is a subatomic planetoid um, that is up for auction that was found in a, uh, a derelict set or a dark sector of the Sirach quadrant. Uh, it was, uh, it's a currently suspended in a zero grav uh, vacuum cube. Um, and uh, it doesn't give much uh, description other than that, but it's just a very tiny planet. Um, the uh, second one is the IDIS vintage goofy keychain. Uh, recovered from Earth Prime, uh, kept in pristine condition, uh, and lists the collector that had sold it, nobody's name that you recognize, uh, that is currently auctioning it off. Um, the third item uh, does not have a lot of detail, but it has an unidentified crystal specimen uh, that is up for auction. Uh, that was recovered in a uh, mining operation uh, that it has yet to be identified by any uh, reputable or any notable uh, uh, scientific organization um, though studies have been ongoing uh, and that the uh, specimen exhibits some strange properties uh, some minor telepathic fields that have been uh, identified by the uh, the auction uh, appraisers. Um, the fourth item is an astral elephant, uh, a, uh, which is a, um, a nearly extinct species of uh, uh, space migrating elephant creatures uh, that are uh, very nearly extinct. Um, and this one has been, uh, was discovered and, uh, captured by a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a bounty hunter, not a poacher. 
probably the word that they put there is like a car- conservationalist. Uh, that is them uh, now selling it for money. Uh, and the last is the variable life extender Mark 8 prototype. Uh, only one of these made uh, or still functioning. This is an old piece of technology, uh, but essentially is used to uh, for extending one's life. Um, does what it says on the tin. Uh, but those are the five items that are currently up for uh, auction here today. I couldn't hear that, Rachel. Oh, sorry. I have a plan. We release the astral elephant and steal everything and run away in the chaos. I'm just kidding, though. Are you? <laughs> Because it's a fun plan. Sales. <laughs> that's that's plan that's plan D. <laughs> plan D, got it. Okay. False fails. We release the astral elephant. And I mean it still works with our cover. That would be exciting and not boring. It would be exciting and not boring. <laughs> we can still meet up with the prince afterwards. <laughs> Take the crystal in the keychain and run away. I guess I don't. Niran doesn't know that the um, that the Gentech dude needs to secure the crystal. I don't think that Splat told us that. Yeah, I don't think no. Splat shared that information. But no, but I the know guys that. probably did get like a uh, like a almost uncontrollable wave of emotion. Not like anything overpowering, but like you could just like Splat was having trouble keeping their emotions in place whenever they were looking over that piece. Motions for an Orion. The uh, one of the droids uh, steps forward and says, "Yes, how might I help you?" Champagne, please. Of course. Uh, and uh, steps away and is back in a few moments with a uh, chilled bottle of champagne and a glass for you. Thank you, love. To keep up appearances, <laughs> she's poor so. Is there anyone else at our table? Uh, yeah, there are a couple people uh, okay. at your table. Yeah. Hmm. So are we like actually trying to buy anything here? What What is... I don't think we can afford anything here. We definitely can't afford so anything what, here. So, okay. So we're just going to hang out and bid for what purposes? Oh, you can't bid on an auction if you don't have the funds. It's like super illegal. <laughs> Whoa! Someone's stealing stuff. <laughs> no, I think. But there's a line, okay? I mean, I think the best plan is to just wait until we know who's buying it, and then intercept and and yoink, right? Because we so. can't buy it. I've got a plus seven to sleight of hand. I'm feeling okay about my odds. I got a plus ten to stealth, so. Yeah. I think. Do we just. Just pickpockets. Would it be it? suspicious if we just, we just never just bid on anything, though? Well, no, I think we like bid, but like just sort of in the middle when a lot of other people are bidding on yeah. something and just like a little, you know. Yeah. Like do like yeah. the price is right and make it go up by like $1, just like fuck with people. <laughs> yeah. Or like, yeah, or like, you know, one of us will go to bid on like you, like you and I just like back and forth, like one of us will go to bid on something or like look like they're going to. And then the other one like hits them like, that's a a waste of money. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just like playing around, like we're interested in things, but not like actually bidding if we don't want to. Yeah, because then we can use that as an opportunity to scope out like, okay, who are like the real rich bitches here? Who really wants this thing? Yeah. Can we like clock? Okay. Do they have yeah, we can be with them? What seems to yeah. be like, how are they transporting? can be like animated things? about like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Like when like the bidding gets high and stuff, like, you know. 
paying attention like oh who was that you know what i mean like just being like really animated about being like nosy about who's buying things too i do want to do a little sneaking around that's mostly my question is that if y'all are you gonna sit still during the auction and just play it out or are y'all gonna head uh head around to try to do some sneaky sneaking you know i'm not gonna sit still my stealth is really good <laughs> is the thing i yeah i think at, at some point sort of when everybody is not paying attention um shiro's gonna get up to ostensibly like go to the bathroom and try to sneak uh i i don't think backstage is the right word but it might be i mean if they're you know, like, like the back rooms i mean it's kind of a stage yeah well i didn't know if they were like bringing out like one item at a time because we're browsing them on the like the, the ipad yeah the tablet yeah. it's like you know the ipads um so like, i imagine there's like a like a like a holding area like a staging area somewhere mm -hmm. and then they're like bringing them out so everybody can actually see them yeah while they're bidding yeah. on them yeah i mean you would imagine all the items are here. It's just a matter of where they have them and what kind of security they're under. Once the auction actually gets underway, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of creeping around. Okay. Uh, well, Why don't if... you escort me to the bathroom and then you like can sneak off. I'll just pretend I'm like a little tipsy and you're like helping me like get there without falling into a table. And then I can create a diversion in case somebody like clocks you going somewhere. Got it. Yes. And I think Splat's best role is just to be stationary and ready for something to pop off. Splat's good at watching. Yeah. Yeah, Splat's good at keeping an eye on the room and watching if there are people in particular clocking us as we leave. Yeah. All right. Uh, so... I am. We're, I'm gonna put on a little bit of a show. Like we're like about to go fuck in the bathroom. Like, <laughs> uh, so the first item comes out. So you weren't gonna go right away. You're gonna wait till like the first items yeah. brought out. Because uh, I imagine so... everybody is still like drinking and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, after a few moments, the uh, the tables all that they have this like um, this light source coming from them all sort of darken. Uh, and uh, the only thing that is currently kind of illuminating everybody that's sitting around the table is are these uh, uh, displays in front of you, uh, which you can see as they come to life and things begin to shift in the room uh, as the first item is going to be brought out. Uh, it gets the full readout for the subatomic planetoid, the first item for auction today. Uh, and then uh, you see the kind of input uh, for placing bids uh, as well uh comes up um oh, so we can just like fuck around on the tablet but not actually bid on anything <laughs> we just like give it to splat so splat can play fucking galaga and act like they're bidding uh the as the uh room dims and the central platform and the walkways illuminate you see uh, the doors in the back of the room open, uh, and uh, two of the Orion bots uh, escort a like hovering uh, like disc uh, that has a small uh, like glass or some sort of um, transparent orb on top of it, um, which seems like it has nothing inside. Uh, it just looks completely empty. Uh, and the uh, they walk it to the center of the room, uh, comes to a station, then you see that orb come to life again. Uh, and that voice of the AI comes through and says, <clears throat> Our first item after auction is the subatomic planetoid. Bidding will begin at 2 million galactic credits. Uh, and as soon as that uh, is said, uh, you see a few people around the room sitting there, like begin to type on their tablets, and then you see boom, one of the uh, tables kind of lights up, uh, illuminating like the display around somebody who has placed a bid. Uh, and uh, it says, uh, uh, and you see like a real Orion says, <clears throat> we have 2.5 million credits, and then. Boom, Three million galactic credits. Uh, you see, like lights coming this on as people cool. are 
as people are playing and placing their uh their bids as everybody's kind of like spotlighted for like the highest bidder is spotlighted in that moment um bidding goes up uh in his underwear are y'all waiting until this one is done or y'all gonna go at this point while bidding is being placed there's five items up there are five items up yeah let's wait till the second one okay uh yeah we need to see who gets this thing this continues this is like a very like high level auction so it's not like the there's no auctioneer shouting and everyone was in one one two two point five two one three 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 and like going doing that uh does it's, anybody it's, at our table bid uh let me just uh jokes on us the president of space is sitting at our table yeah the space president is there it's just jimmy carter yeah, some of your table places a bit um, for a moment, and then they're outbid, and it moves on to somebody else. So you're kind of like moving around the room. You just give them a toast um, of respect, like, "Hey, hey okay." Yeah, I guess you. you look at they they look up and say, "Ah, oh, win some, you lose some," uh, and uh, it begins to slow down. A couple of people begin to place bids, uh, eventually settling on uh, around 15 million uh, galactic credits, uh, and the I guess it uh, is a planet. <laughs> and uh, the uh, Orion AI says, <clears throat> and that concludes our auction today. Congratulations to our winner. Uh, and you can say they light that like their lights up, and they kind of wave around the room as there's a polite bit of applause. Uh, and uh, the item is then taken. The the lights in the room kind of come back on uh, as people can get it back from their tables. Uh, people begin to converse again as that item is then taken backstage. About how long did that take? I'd say maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Like I said, okay. it's not very fast paced. People are kind of drinking and conversing and stuff like that. It's like something between a live and a silent auction. Like mm -hmm. it's, um, so. I like the vibes here. Yeah. It's classy. Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, who did it go to? That's, uh. Oh, yeah. I would like to try to perception whoever gets uh, the last, uh, 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 like whoever Ione? bought it. That's not right. Yeah, whoever, uh, whoever wins the auction for each piece. Yeah, uh, e that's easy. They're illuminated. You don't have to do a check for it. They're literally like spotlighted for that moment. Uh, you see, uh, there is a kind of very large, uh, like cat man uh, over in the corner. It's wearing a nice suit with a bow tie on it. Uh, uh, he gives a wave. You don't know his name offhand or somebody you've been introduced to, um, but... He's a uh, cat man. <laughs> in a bow tie. Uh, he kind of, like, waves and accepts the the uh, the applause and then settles back into his chair. Uh, so, no one, no one in, in your immediate kind of, like, radar won that one. I kind of want to go talk to the cat man about the tiny planet, but you, I feel you like I'm going to stay focused. Nope. Stay focused on the mission. We can talk to him later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's like an after party portion with that we're going to go to before and our after party. After par yeah, I'm sure there's like a, you know, like, oh, everybody just spent a bunch of money. Let's eat some food and drink some things and talk. I don't know. Yeah. Princess that seems like that's a thing. Would do. A DJ starts playing. I don't know. Or a band. DJ Khaled is here. DJ Khaled. What if the cat man is the DJ? He's the cat man. Uh, so, Niren and Shiro, the two of you are leaving? After this one, right? Or we're gonna... I think like as... As the bidding starts? As the bidding, like as the lights go down, Niren <laughs> has to go to the bathroom and Shiro's like, Right now. When they do that, I want to focus myself. my attention on uh, Frostbane and the other uh, 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 mag magistrates? Mag uh, the Magnaterra? Magnaterra, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so after another like few, like five minutes or so of uh, conversation and drinks, lights dim again. Uh, and brought out this time is the uh, Goofy Keychain. Uh, which is on display on a, a small like pedestal. Uh, you can see like within contained within glass uh, is a very uh, like you know 
metal ring with the uh like a chain at the or kind of like a what's the word like for like the uh like the cloth strip uh it's very old from like our standards like this would be something you buy like at disneyland and it's got a little like uh medallion uh with an imprint of goofy's face on it in your entire illustrious gm career did you ever think you'd have to give a whole description of a keychain with goofy's face on it uh no i, I surprised myself uh yearly uh that's brought out and orion uh says the bidding for lot two will start at 1.6 million credits uh and the bidding begins oh, i'll stand up i offer near in my arm imagine she's playing kind of drunk a little bit Go ahead and make a performance check. Go go that way. Give, give some eyebrows to whoever at our table looks like the sleaziest man. Okay. Am I Ugh. also doing one? Oh, uh, rolled it rolled, with, it rolled, it rolled with, advantage. with advantage. That's weird. It wasn't supposed to. So I guess that's a nine. Okay. Or should I re-roll it? Uh, no, we'll go with a nine. Uh... Uh, sure, you Not said great. you want to roll. Uh, I said, am, I said, am, am I? Am I uh, Yeah, yeah, you can, you can roll as well. I got my, my special dice out for this. Yeah, I'm gonna grab actual dice. Ooh. Let's roll 20 today. 23. 23, okay. Uh, yeah. I, so I maybe think Niren, Niren just looks a little stupid. <laughs> well, I think it's, <laughs> I it, Niren, it's hard for you to turn off your, uh, like, monk like your monastic training your like innate like sense of balance and reflexes it's it's very hard for you to look uncoordinated uh uh so that's that's a bit i don't think that's selling as much but uh shiro you kind of recover and uh pass the ruse forward as uh the people at your table kind of like politely excuse you and you uh head to uh back to the hallway uh, which kind of stretches around. There's the main doors that you came out to, through the balcony, a um, couple of Orion uh, droids that are standing out here as well. I mean, there's always one with an eyesight um, to, like, attend to you. Uh, and uh, as you approach, uh, one of them uh, steps forward and says, might I help you? Oh, uh, restroom, please. Down the hall, to your right. Thank you. Uh, and gestures. There's kind of like the, the hallways sort of circle around the outer wall of the uh, auction house here. Uh, big windows, kind of semicircular uh, or like half moon windows uh, that have uh, that you can see outside the like twinkling of like the uh, spray coming off like the holographic <laughs> fountain um, uh, in the night sky, uh, night sky of uh, Joy Station, the artificial night sky of Joy Station. Um, but yeah, you kind of wind around that, and there is a uh, the restrooms are uh, here. Uh, there are uh, seven of them, depending on your anatomy, um, that are convenient for you to use. The one for humanoids is all the way on the right. Are there any other like doors on this hallway, or is it just uh, the hallway, restrooms? The hallway like... continues down from uh, from where you're at. You would you're kind of like probably you would gather about halfway from here to what would be like the back rooms where you see these like uh, the walkways leading to. So uh, I'll say like around the bend, you can see where the hallway ends. Um, uh, there are other doors here that lead into like the main auction room. Like again, think of a big like auditorium space. There's multiple exits that could lead out into this into the hall, so people would, like come out and converse and um, uh, and head to the restrooms. Uh, the uh, so there are some doors on your left that would go back into the auction house. Uh, it looks like kind of around the bend, the uh, the hallway. Uh, abruptly ends uh, at a wall with a uh, security door there um, that probably leads to the uh, to the back rooms. That's why I was asking for Shiro sneaking. Did it seem like uh, any of the magnetic clocked them as they left? Uh, that's a good question. I should roll for that. No, this doesn't seem like anybody drew any attention. Uh, they drew any attention to themselves. Ooh. 
Well, I don't know if Shira wants to try to get into that back door. I mean, wants to and should are two different things. Freezing. <laughs> Do you think you can get into a security door? I don't know. That's why I'm looking at my sheet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, sleight of hand is kind of your thing. Yeah, but if it's a technology type roll, that is not my thing. Well, then we're fucked. Um, why don't I'm not here to really have this conversation with you, but why aren't you both going? I mean, I get the ruse of going to the bathroom, but I just didn't know if there were like Orion's posted like around the room. So I was going to like distract an Orion so that we hadn't really decided until we, yeah, because we hadn't seen the hallway yet. Yeah. Um, let's, um, yeah, let's just wander on, on down there and see if we can't come up with a plan to get in. Because if we can just steal it. I have an, I have an idea. (laughs) Okay. I'm all ears. I'm all tentacles. (laughs) Well, uh. I guess, uh, Val, what's the security door look like? Is there a lock on it? Or is it, like, a keypad? Or is it a, like, is it scan-in thing? badge? Is it keypad? Is it fingerprints? Is it, is it locked? Mean? Like, is it just, is like, it a pheromones? locked door? Is it keys? <laughs> uh, make a... Uh, oh, I have questions myself. about this door and whether or not I, I could open it. I would let you make either a uh, investigation or a technology check to try to uh, kind of understand how this door works. Well, because like, you know, I have the slicers kit, which says it can bypass computerized defenses and locks. Yeah. yeah but I just didn't know if that would yeah. actually like, if that would work, if it's just like, a you know, I, can I just will pick yeah. the lock. I, would just I will do tell that. you. Very, very few things are going to actually have like mechanical locks on them. Okay. Uh, just in the setting, but y'all are also prepared for that. That is not new to y'all. You know, when we talk like a rogue in this system, uh, that is somebody like you get through technologically. Like you're used to dealing with technology, uh, so I don't want that. We kind of have to shift our context from like five E fantasy settings. Technically, I um, am the rogue class. Y- yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but if you have a sli- uh, proficiency with like slicers kits uh, is kind of what you would need. Do you have, I know the operative because I was double checking because you get a specialist kit, mm-hmm. you get proficiency in a specialist kit of your choice. I don't know what specialist kit you chose. What were the options for that? I'm okay. Uh, that's a good question. Are those different than regular tools? I built this character a really long time ago. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh... That's force powers. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm looking for where specialist kits are. Where are you seeing that I get a specialist kit? On the, in the rogue section of the handbook. Oh, but like where? In proficiencies. Yeah, in proficiencies. Let's see. Um... I'm also working on the website, so. I don't yeah, know no, I'm on the website thing. as well. Uh, one specialist kit of your voice. I want to say that's one of the ones that I have because I have disguise and forgery. Okay. I think. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm trying to find the. Uh... I also forgot to add my fusion cutter, but I do have a fusion cutter. Yeah. I think it's just the, all the kits. Oh, it's in the Wretched Hives uh, expansion. That's what it is. Uh, So you get proficiency. There are like 30 of them. Slicer's kit is one of them. 
is this are you looking at so like the special use the big table of like tools and uses yes yeah so disguise kit and forgery kit are both on there so i think i got one from okay the class and then one is my specialist kit yeah it looks like the ones that help you get into like locks and stuff uh so slicers kit helps you get through computers and software uh security kit is like containers and locks yeah i don't i didn't pick either of those is what i'm saying yeah i was saying because uh niran said niran has a slicers kit. kit yeah yeah so that a slicers kit is like for uh for like hacking stuff um whereas uh security kit is more like physical locks um do you have a burglar's pack but go ahead and make your rolls though uh like i said either technology or investigation they're the same for me um, yep same don't fail me little dice <gasps> critical success plus <Nice>. one <laughs> thank you little dice a 19. nice good rolls uh with the crit though um you uh have a very good understanding how these doors work uh so first of all as you're approaching it uh you don't see any keypad or any mechanism on the exterior of the door which would indicate how you would open it but uh with the context of this facility being fully automated uh you've seen some of the orion bosses are like moving through the doors when they're like going in and out of the especially when they were going through the ones in the auction house uh bringing out the items or the lots um you would gather there's some sort of like security override or uh programming like in the orion bots themselves that when they approach mm -hmm. a door it opens have an idea do your idea after looking at my force powers like uh okay look shira's thinking and thinking 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 you get there a little faster than he does can you open it i'm not i mean i could probably you know cut it open But that seems like that would draw attention. Is there any way we can make it look like it's opening naturally? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> hmm. I hear your idea. Hmm. Okay, so I have a force power called Force Mask. Okay. Uh, which, if we can get the door open, um, lets me disguise myself. <laughs> and I was gonna disguise myself as an Orion bot. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of yep. putter around backstage like I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, I mean, that would definitely help with, like, visual, uh, any sort of cameras or senses that, uh, like, you would you'd be able to, yeah, uh, that, that could definitely work. Just have to actually get in the door. Yeah, yeah, you just wouldn't have, like, the programming, wouldn't be able to, like, relay the code that you would need to yeah, open yeah. the door like that. Um, so, yeah, if you all can find another way to get the door open, which I'll mention, there are lots of Orion bots around. That's true. Do you, do you think we could just like call one over here and it would open? Or is the proximity enough? I don't know. You're the door expert. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not used to ones that are controlled by air, I'm used to ones that have a keypad. I will say, if you wanted to try to, like, brute force your way through it, uh, you probably could, like, pop off a panel or something and try to, like, hack into the door that way. Would a slicer's kit be able to be used for that? Yeah. Okay. If there's a panel that I can pop, 
then I'll pop a panel, but I'm gonna try to do it like discreetly. So <laughs> she's gonna like go like under her, she's looking down, like go under her dress and kind of like pull the like little kit off of her like inner thigh and like pull the dress back down and then like kind of like grab everything, put it behind her back, put it all in one hand and then pull Shiro forward and start like <laughs> making out with him and, <laughs> and working the slicers kit behind her back. She's done this a million times. Okay, so like against the wall, like okay, yeah, so you're like leaned against the wall, like with the you know, like kind of like you know, shoulders against the wall, like leaned back, like hands okay. behind her, trying to like bypass this panel. I'll I will allow it. Uh, so what I'll say here is normally I would give you disadvantage for trying to do this without looking, but with Shiro there to help, we'll say Shiro yeah, can give the help. You can action. like look over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, so Shiro, Shiro can give the help action, which would cancel out. So it'd just be a uh, a flat, a flat roller. roll. You got this. For uh, with your slicers kit. Okay. I don't know what the role is for that. It wasn't uh, you have I, just, nowhere on. Yeah, so you have proficiency, have proficiency with, it? with it. Yeah. So uh, for that, we'll call this uh, kind of check. There's not a lot of info on the slicers kit. It just says. Yeah, kit. so it's like any <laughs> D and D tool where it just okay. kind of depends on the context of how you're using it, what skill focus, what like ability uh, we're going to be using, and then you'll get to add your proficiency bonus to it. Okay. Uh, so I'll let you use dexterity. Okay. So dexterity plus proficiency. Okay. Don't fail me. I can't tell if that's I really would... bad or... <laughs> It's really good. I crit again with this fucking dice. I... <laughs> Look at it. Thank you. So that's a 27? 27. Damn. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Within a few moments, uh, the uh, you slip the panel off, um, you know, pry the panel off the wall, uh, uh, letting it, like, quietly sliding it down to the floor uh, and using the cover of y'all's ruse, uh, begin to... Uh, work with your slicers kit, uh, bring out the small, like, kind of, uh, essentially like clipping the, uh, diode onto one of the cables behind the, this panel, uh, and letting it run its sequence, um, as the, uh, sequence continue, uh, runs, uh, you hear kind of a ding from the device itself, and the doors, uh, slide open. Looking forward to the after party. Uh, yep, doors open. Just kind of like, loose to dress up, puts everything back. <laughs> Little wink. <laughs> Slip inside. I'm gonna cast Force Mask. Okay. It's uh, essentially disguise self. Perfect. Uh, does Force Mask. Uh, what is the exact language of the ability? Until the power ends, or you use an action to dismiss it, you can disguise yourself through use of the force in many ways. Uh, you can appear shorter, taller by a foot, change the appearance of your body and weight, but you don't actually change the structure of your body. This effect can include your clothes, weapons, and other belongings. Um, on your person, the effect is purely visual, so anyone who comes in physical contact with you can interact with your real shape. <laughs> okay. This guy can uh, change my body to it's it's a it's a force illusion, or it's a got it. Are we still calling it the force? I forgot. Psy. It's not the force. It's a psy. It's a it's a, uh, it's a psy illusion. Psionic illusion. Um, so I imagine it sort of like works with like re reflecting and reflecting, refracting light. Um, to change. Okay. What the uh, physical form looks like, but it doesn't actually change the physical form itself. Okay, as you slip into the room, uh, the uh, using your sci-fi, there's kind of a shimmer around you for a moment, and uh, you drop in height just like a couple inches, uh, and uh, take on the appearance of a uh, slightly awkward uh, uh, 
Orion droid. Can I add uh, a detail to it? Sure. Do they have like a little like a like a screen or like a display? Or no. Anything? Uh, no, they're just it's just like metal plating, uh, like I said, gold and uh, and green, um, with a kind of glowing like eye apparatus or ocular apparatus. Okay, but not any like nothing I could like put words on or anything. Uh, no, the, all of them have like this symbol of like the cosmic infinity auction house on them, uh, kind of on what would be like a lapel, um, but no like display readouts or anything okay. on them. I'm going to add a little like uh just a lit a little bitty uh a thing that's sort of been added on with scrolling text that says like a uh, voice box update in progress with a little <laughs> bar. Okay. So I don't have okay. to mimic the voice. So I don't have to talk. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play lookout in the hall as well. All right. Like, I'm not going to go in. Just I'm assuming there are cameras everywhere. So, at least back uh, there. Uh, Probably you can make a perception check to try to see. As okay. You kind of um, the door. Perception check with my favorite new die. You rolled another natural 20. I'm going to make No. <laughs> oh, that was a 12. That's a flat roll. There's nothing else added to it. It's just a 12. Okay. Um, I think you, can... you put the dice away. If I roll another 20, I'm just going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh you can see as you uh, uh you kind of peer around into the room uh, essentially and i'll give a description as shiro you step back here uh it is a much less like adorned space uh very simple like metal floor uh wall and ceiling um no windows or anything to speak of this is like purely like functionary back here or functional back here like there's no um uh it's since the full facility is fully automated, there's no like organic life form that's supposed to, uh, that is expected to be back here. So there's no like creature comforts as well. Um, but as you kind of step back into the room, it's just kind of a slightly curving uh, hallway in front of you, uh, leading deeper into the auction house. Um, as you kind of peer into the room uh, or peer into this hallway, you, you gather, I, I will tell you with a 12, they're could be cameras uh you don't clock any immediately as you're looking in without if you're not stepping into the room i'll just assume that there are cameras and i'm also going to send a force whisper to splat um saying that like <sighs> i'm so worried about saying something like super obvious just because i know that there are other people who use like these powers here so she'll say something like um hmm. um we're just causing a little trouble we'll be back shortly just in case somebody else like picks up on it <laughs> I'm just, I'm genuinely worried about, like, somebody, like, it's, like, intercepting a force whisper. I don't know if that's a possible, like, thing, but <laughs> I'm paranoid now with no, what's his name here. Idea. Uh, yeah. And I know it just would be, like, Shiro made it into can, the back room. I don't know room. if they can hijack that or not. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. Like... I don't know enough about it. It makes me nervous. So I think she'll just yeah. try to, like, make it sound like a silly, like, oh, yeah, like, I think there's we're a just good causing trouble. I would, I would know if somebody were reading my brain, but I think it's, it's, it's totally fine to be cautious in that regard so anyway I, you just get back a like a yeah when aren't you hmm. <laughs> like doesn't sound worried or anything just kind of like a hey we're updating you on the status of our silly little adventure here uh so yeah, hold on, hold on. you get back hallway. this is what you get back you get back do you think he uses a giant litter box? Is that racist? I don't know how to ask certain questions. You get back. Do not ask the cat man in the bow tie if he uses a giant litter box. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> you can't ask people about their bathroom. You can't just go around asking people about their bathroom habits flat. <laughs> uh, we have as... so many questions. 
<laughs> as uh as splat you receive this have this like brief exchange uh back in the auction room um the bidding ends uh and there is applause as uh the uh orion the main ai system uh says <clears throat> And with a final bidding of 8.2 million credits, the winner of lot two is Vega X. Uh, and uh, everyone sort of applauds as she like stands up and waves to everyone as she's won the go or she has successfully won the uh, Goofy keychain. Um, the uh, Orion bots take the begin to take the next lot backstage um, as bidding for the third lot begins. Uh, so, near before we get to what Shiro is doing, Niran, are you staying at the door or are you heading back into the auction room? Uh, she's gonna stay in the hallway, um, mm -hmm. and just like play around on like a uh, like not like right by the door, like because obviously that's like super suspicious. This like open door because she's not gonna like let it shut. Like. I'm 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 worried that like if the door shuts it won't open again or have I bypassed it so it will just like open now when we want it to. Uh it, I will say with your with your check there I uh, as long as your device is connected you can open and close it at okay. will. Uh but you've done nothing that will like keep the door from opening as it normally would. Okay. So yeah, she'll leave it so that like before she like disconnects everything, she'll leave it so that like it'll just like she'll leave it, like cracked a little bit like you know when Shiro goes in so that, like he can just like push it and it'll just like open again before she like puts everything away. Okay. Um, just so like it doesn't look like it's just open at the end of this hallway like into the back rooms because I feel like if an Orion bot comes, that's gonna be like super suspicious looking. Okay. Um, so you want to like uh, override it so that the door won't close fully? Uh, yeah. And so and you can just like, you know, like an elevator, like if you put your hand, it like senses, yeah. like I just want to be able to like push back open, like when he's ready to be done okay. with this ruse. Sure. And then she's just going to kind of like post herself like down in the hallway, like pretending to be bored, holding a glass of champagne and like scrolling on a tablet or whatever. Like, okay. like she's waiting outside the bathroom for somebody. Okay. Kind of like just down the hallway, like kind of like bored pacing, but mostly just keeping an eye out for anyone coming. All right uh you are uh so you're waiting here we'll, we'll do shiro's thing for a second uh so shiro you are uh walking down this uh this dark uh corridor um does shiro have any sort of uh natural dark vision uh that's a good question i don't actually know uh, I don't think so. Oh, wait. JK, yes, I have dark vision. Okay, that does it's help it's you because yeah. as a, uh, as again, a fully automated facility with uh, droids being used back here, they don't need light to navigate. So uh, there's no, uh, there's no light source in this hall. Uh, as you reach the um, kind of coming around the end of it, um, you uh walk through a kind of simple opening uh and you can hear uh the sound of like a uh and to hear some like clapping as like uh for a brief moment uh as you see uh two other orion bots uh kind of come into a room here um and uh begin uh sort of s this uh keychain uh this lot uh back into the facility uh do you follow yeah and you are not like trying to stay out of sight you're just kind of trying to act like a normal bot I'm doing yeah i'm doing a sort of social stealth got it um they don't seem to uh as you walk back here the bots don't seem to react to you uh you kind of turn and follow them as they uh continue heading towards this um like 
back into the facility uh, as they walk through a, another series of doors. The doors slide open. Uh, you can kind of follow along back with them uh, into a much larger uh, chamber, uh, which you see uh, around the room uh in kind of neatly almost like again like uh, perfectly spaced out uh, uh the uh, the items on auction for the evening um are all uh, on their in neat like gravitational platforms the smaller ones uh you can see the first two lots uh already kind of back in their place as they return the keychain back next to the subatomic planetoid um you can see the other lots that have not gone out yet uh, that are also uh, kind of waiting here on their platforms. Um, the uh, <clears throat> You see a lot with a... Uh, you see a box uh, that has a sort of... Uh, there's no encasing over it, but the box itself seems to be sealed in some way. Uh, and you see a slight kind of like glow coming from it. Um, like a, uh, like sort of a pinkish glow. Um, you also see a, uh, another, uh, kind of behind that, a large, uh, this one isn't like on a small hovering platform. This is like the size of a, um, uh, I would say almost the size of like an elevator, uh, a large kind of uh, contraption of some kind. Uh, and you can see that is like printed on the side, uh, the a big like Mark 8 lettering. Um, you gather this is the variable life extender uh, pod. Uh, and then the largest item in the room off to the far left corners you come in uh, in a massive uh, like cage uh that has this uh there's like four pylons and this uh like crackling electro kind of netting in between it um is an enormous figure of a uh well the astral elephant uh whether or not you've seen one before uh in photos is up to you uh it is a i want to imagine a um a, like a tardigrade uh just just an enormous tardigrade uh but with like a uh kind of like a trunk shape like a sp like two spiraling uh trunks coming out the uh the front like where it's like head is no eyes that are really to speak of uh but a series of like kind of floating uh sort of like appendages off to the side that seem to like stabilizing it is in the air it's kind of like hovering uh in place uh and it has a um Again, like an enormous, like it's probably like 20, 25 feet tall. Um, and just kind of like hovering silently in this cube. If you free it, I'm not going to be mad at you. <laughs> I mean, that would be really fun. Do I, can I recognize the thing we're supposed to steal, though? Uh, the goofy keychain? Well, yeah, but wasn't there... Remind me the of the other thing we're supposed to get. That's the data from the... on the prince. It, the, the prince has The prince has it, right. We and Splat dare... didn't tell us about the crystal. Okay, right, so we don't know anything about the crystal. Which is about to go up for auction, so it'd be a terrible time to try to take it. Yeah. yeah. We need the, if we're going to take things, it needs to go to the person that it, it, like, it needs to, like, make it out of the auction house into the hands of the person that we are taking it from and then we're steal not, it, probably. Yeah, I mean, we dared the prince to steal the keychain, but are yeah. we going to be able to get it from freaking Vega? Who, who won Yeah. It? I was pop out there during the, during the auction. Who won? Yeah. Who the, did? The pop star, Vega X. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Sorry, I forgot. Once it's in her hands, we're not going to be able to touch it. Unless you invite her to the after party. Her Maybe she's just going to hook it to her backpack. Do you think she's going to bring her 17 bodyguards into the room for spicy time? I don't know. Maybe she's weird like that. I don't know. 
Yeah. She's in a big polycule with all her security staff. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> really easy to distract somebody in that kind of a situation. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to accomplish back here other than being like, okay, this is how the sort of back rooms work. I know, we dared the prince to steal it, though. Yeah, but is he going to be able to steal it? I don't know. I kind of want to see him do it. <laughs> but I'm not back there, so you do you. I'm just worried about the second you touch something, alarms going off. How many other uh, Orions are back here? Uh, make a perception check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, so the two Orion bots that came uh, back here that uh, brought this uh, this back have gone like pretty much like catatonic. Uh, they kind of moved to the center of the room and like stopped. Um, you're like kind of standing behind them. I seem like you haven't really like moved either. Uh, the but with the sixteen, um, you don't see any other. Uh, Orion bots in the room. Uh, you do, however, look up and like again, it's it's dark in here, but with your dark vision, uh, you're able to make out there are several uh, kind of the four corners of the room are uh, large, kind of like uh, I would say there's uh, apertures in the ceiling. Okay. I don't really know what that means. What an aperture is? I I don't really know what that implies. Uh, that there is something that could open for something else to get uh, to come down from the ceiling. Okay. Think of like uh, like the alien like portholes that like s slide open I alien see. isolation. Okay. Uh, sorry, sci-fi is not my thing. But I do know alien. Ooh. These things don't count as humanoids, right? Uh, the droids? Yeah. No, uh, they specifically count as, uh, I think droid is the technical classification in the system. Yeah, they count as droids. Uh, this is hard. I think whatever you do, it's <clears throat> gonna be fine. If you steal the thing, there's going to be complications no matter what, too. But I think it's going to be fine. If you steal the I thing, don't know what else something might happen with here. the prince, but it's going to be fine. If you if you hang out back there, something might happen, but it might be fine. If you go back, like... Well, we, we... I the thing is that I want this to have accomplished something. And so now, like, I've seen the, the way it works, but I don't know, like... That's as far as I got. It's okay to not have a complete plan. Unfortunately, it's been a very long time since we played this game, and I'm desperately trying to remember everything. Can I can I call a, a DM's request then? As sure. is um, about what would normally be break time, right? Yeah, we could go ahead and take a break here while and give Van some time to think. Uh, I didn't expect to just make it very easily all the way into the back room. Oops. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go and take a break here and we will, uh, come back and 
y'all can kind of think about what you want to do. Uh, so thanks everyone out there for watching. We'll be back in a few minutes to continue our session. We recommend you go do breaks of two, drink some water, have a snack, whatever you need to do. Uh, and we will see you back here very soon. And still until then, stay tuned. Welcome back, Internet. Thanks for hanging out with us while we took our break. We are going to go ahead and jump right back in. So we are at the Cosmic Infinity Auction. The first two items have gone up for sale. Uh, the You know that the keychain has been recently purchased by Vega X. Uh, currently, Splat is in the auction house uh, uh, sitting at the table that all of you were assigned. Uh, Niren is in kind of the outer hallway, uh, keeping an eye out, uh, while Shiro has snuck back into the, uh, sort of, uh, the, the functioning area of the auction house, uh, disguised as an Orion bot, uh, and, uh, is in a room full of all the items up for auction. Um, before we, uh... <clears throat> get before we return uh to shiro i'm gonna do uh, a couple of things are gonna happen um the uh the the last round of bidding has ended so people are getting up and getting drinks and everything in that like inter intermission between the uh the next lot going up for auction um splat you're still disguised as your lizard form right Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Uh, you hear uh, somebody uh, speaking behind you, uh, addressing you. It says, <clears throat> I'm afraid I didn't get your name. Elizabeth. Did I have an accent? Did she have an accent? I Does anybody remember? remember? I, and honestly, I think we'll it just was say whatever. Lilu. Wasn't it Lilu Dallas? Were you playing Lilu Dallas? Yeah, I don't think it was oh, an accent was... so much as it was like, I'm sort of high pitched and uh, enunciate right. well. Yes, I think that's right. Yes. The slightest RP. Yes. Are you certain? Have you forgotten already? It was Lilu. Uh, you turn uh it oh, is not it is dear. not boris uh or boric behind you uh it is uh serious frostbane uh standing kind of towering over you looking down at you with uh sort of uh piercing brown eyes oh very sorry i thought you were someone else uh uh she'll stand up uh you're one of the magna carta Frostbane, right? Magna Carta. Yeah, Magna Carta is a, a, a little different. <laughs> well, uh, no, go away, middle school. Go away. <laughs> we're also coming straight off a of Dragon Age, so yeah, uh, yeah. The um, uh, he looks down at you, still kind of like as you stand. Uh, unless how how tall is your lizard form? Are, are you Not like? terribly tall I, I was going for uh studious unimposing you know okay uh so he's he's like about like six two six three um so i'm thinking like tall. five eight or something at the most you know so again kind of like towering over you uh and he says yes i am serious frostbane philosopher of the first order of the magna terra well, it is certainly a pleasure. I'm Lilu Dallas. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting the accent on on Dallas. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that just broke me. Uh, to what do I owe this honor? <clears throat> I'm here working security for the Oracle. You, Lilu. You said your name is. What business have you at the auction tonight? I noticed your table hasn't bid on anything yet. There is a piece of some academic value to me. The third one. I, I work for... I, send me a psychic thought, please. I don't have one, but that's uh, not true. I specifically true. asked earlier if anybody at our table had bid on anything, and you said they bid on the first thing. 
Oh, not you. Your table has your group, like, uh, But he Lilu. can't tell he said, from there. He said yeah, but your table hasn't bid on anything. And splat, I just want to be definitely. very clear. That was me. He could at that least say Splat mis- hasn't bid on anything. Yeah, and that would be. Uh, this, I have not. I'm sorry. That is me misspeaking, not him. That's you why I'm raising my hand. I just want to make sure. Okay. You have not bid on anything. Because our yet. table uh, has. Our bid table on. Your lit table up. has. Our table lit up. <laughs> but the uh, it, the spotlight was for one of the other people at your table. Uh, okay. The, I didn't know if like yeah. the, and, just the whole table lit up. No, no, because you're not bidding as a table. It's it's, it's just on people. them. Okay. It's just on yeah. them. Okay. Yeah. That's what I misunderstood. I thought like the table was glowing when like, somebody too. from yeah. the table bid, and not no, like, it's, like a specifically spotlight like, the slamming onto somebody. Like the spot where they're sitting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm fine we, with this. Ben um, and I both misunderstood that. And we were like, wait, no. No. I asked. <laughs> Continue. Uh, Lizard, Lizard Lilu uh, will say, um, there's a piece of particular academic uh, importance for me. I believe you're aware of the pieces. The third one, this crystal creature. I'm a, a scientist of genetic, biological, and psychic studies. It's interesting to me. I would like to know who this piece goes to. Uh, I'm gonna have you make either a. It's that's not like a I'm, lie I'm not necessarily. Lying. No. Uh, the the persona here is so you could do either performance, deception, or persuasion, depending on how you feel in your heart you are portraying this. I. <laughs> I mean, deception is higher. Um, I'm definitely trying to throw off our purpose here, so I think I think I can reason deception being the the right yeah. purpose. It's not entirely a lie, uh, it's, but he it's he asked what threat, our yeah. purpose was here, and I'm I mean, now it's my purpose currently is maybe being interested in this piece, but no. yeah, no, I'm fine with deception, and again. You're passing yourself off as someone else. You said that you're a student. You're not. Uh, so there's lots of reasons why we can flavor this as uh, deception. Well, I just threw my d20 off of the table, so I'm going to roll it in, uh, <laughs> in roll 20. 26. Damn. Okay. Um, he nods. He says, you have a focus in... Uh, psychic powers as they relate to genetics it's a burgeoning field I'm a student at I forgot what I said last time but some school over in the Draco system um, and yeah, uh, that's fine. We can there was a, a burgeoning that. field of psychogeneticism that I'm looking into I'm sure you can understand my order has much interest in people with these abilities. I would certainly imagine so, sir. You, it is foundation of your cause for... Forgive me, I'm not as learned in history. Centuries? Millennia? Centuries. Mm. At least since its original founding. Is there something ask... I could... No, please go ahead, sir. Let me ask you, Lilu Delas. Do you possess any such abilities yourself? Um... Hmm... Uh, I'm gonna send him a psychic whisper that says, you already know that. Okay. <clears throat> Are you testing me for something? Uh, in your mind as well, you receive a, a message back and says, The Magnetera keep eyes on any gifted in wielding psychic abilities. I believe that is a worthy cause. Keep your eyes open. Don't worry about me. I am here for academic purposes. I hope so. Do you uh, have some interest in this creature? Should I be concerned about you? Uh, 
he responds again. I assume y'all are continuing this telepathically from us. There's an awkward yeah. moment where you two are just staring at each other. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the other people at your table are just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, the, uh, but he says... How hard would it be um, to split a conversation? Oh, uh, yeah, to, like, speak telepathically while you're carrying on, like, mundane. Uh-huh. Just like some bullshit, how's the weather kind of conversation. Sure, yeah, I say y'all, y'all could do that. He would be gifted enough to do something like that too. So, uh, yeah, we can say to avoid any awkwardness, we're all just like staring at each other intently for, for a minute. Uh, he, uh, he continues and says, "I have no interest in the specimen. Our business here is elsewhere." Should you be interested in formal training with your abilities? Seek out any of our order. Your gifts are too great to squander in academic pursuits. I certainly appreciate that offer, sir, and I will not forget it. But the realm of academia is what I've devoted my life to. Very well. There is a lot that perhaps the aged orders can learn from a more scientific approach. The pool of the cosmos draws us inexorably in the same direction, regardless of the steps we choose to take. I think when he says that, um, <laughs> the illusion doesn't slip at all, like uh, the, the form doesn't shift. Uh, but the expression uh, almost imperceptibly just drops a little bit, and she says, That's very true. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. And he speaks out, out loud and says, I'm resolved. It's a pleasure to meet you. An honor, sir. Uh, and he turns and returns back to his table. Very good deception check. Yeah, it's could have gone a lot differently. Uh, is there anything else Splat wants to do as he returns back to the table where the other magnets are sitting at? Uh, totally relay all of that to Naren. Like, that was crazy. A uh, teenage child was just approached by a scary individual, managed their way through it, was maybe <laughs> offered a job, something. <laughs> like, so much happened. Really wants to talk to you about it. I'm so proud right now. <laughs> uh, we've we've taught them so well. <laughs> as uh, we'll say, you relay that. But at that same time, before uh, you get the message from, uh, as it all happening concurrently, uh, Niren, uh standing in the hallway. Uh, you hear uh, some people have come out to like use the restrooms and return as like the auction is going and. Uh, uh, stepping, uh, coming through the doors out into the hall and looking around for a moment and then catching your eye uh, is the prince uh, who uh, kind of a mix like the hubbub here as people are coming in and out and then like the the, uh, the room uh, kind of like the, the people begin to filter out from the hallway uh, approaches and says <clears throat> I was wondering where you all got off to Sitting around a table and bidding on things I don't need is not really my speed of fun. Uh, uh, kind of looks. Where are you standing? Right? Are you like near the door that goes into the back rooms? No, the no. She's like more like by the bathroom. She was just kind of like keeping an eye, like where she can like see out of the corner of her eye that door, uh -huh. but is mostly like more by the bathrooms, like Got just it. where you can like just kind of slightly see the door. And uh, she. I think Keith was what oh, we said. Keith, Keith, Keith and Ruby. Right, I'm That's Keith right. here. Keith. I'm oh, sorry. And I'm, I can't keep track of Ruby fake Rod. Names. Uh, and uh, where'd Keith I get off to? Just name any Voltron character, and that's me. Right. <laughs> where'd Pidge get off to? Uh, I, around here somewhere. He said he was going to get a drink and then use the bathroom, and I've been standing here for like 10 minutes. Well, I guess if I'm going to win that bet. I better get to it. 
Uh, he kind of looks back at you and says, I don't suppose I get any help? Or is this a dare I have to do on my own? It depends on what kind of help you need. I can't steal it for you. Uh, that's fair. It's fair. Uh, and just like people kind of filter it and out. Uh, he uh, kind of like uh, looks around uh, and uh, looks towards the doors. And he says, yeah, I'm probably keeping it back that way. Hmm. How to get in. Uh, and kind of like uh, looks uh, like he just walks straight up towards the door. <laughs> Let's just follow him. Like <laughs> kind of like slightly panicked. <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> He's having the same idea. <laughs> uh he stops at the door and kind of looks like I'm gonna say the way you left it open is probably imperceptible enough that like a normal person probably wouldn't notice like the, the gap here just enough like Shiro might be able to like wedge it open. Um and he kind of like looks at him and just Ah, idea. Uh and he looks back down the hall and says, Orion, uh, I'm having a bit of trouble. Can you help me? Uh and you see one of the Orion bots uh, uh, comes down the hall, uh, like and says, uh, "Yes, uh, <clears throat> Your Highness, how can I help you?" What's back this way? Uh, this is private storage for the facility. Uh, I'm afraid it's off limits to attendants. Ah, right, right, makes sense. Uh, that's all I needed. Thanks. Uh, and the Orion bot, uh, gives a nod and turns around. Uh, and as it turns around, the prince suddenly, like, lunges towards it, uh, grabs the Orion bot, uh, and you hear kind of, like, as he, as he grabs it, he just, like, reaches in and pulls out a bunch of wires, and the Orion bot kind of goes, and goes, like, limp in his arms. Oh, Niren does have a type. <laughs> it's stupid. The type is stupid. That's, that's my type. <laughs> Bold. I'm just gonna say it's bold. It's no, only it's... stupid if it fails. Shiro's stupid. <laughs> She's just standing there, just sheer shock on her face. And she goes, uh, well, I, I might have rigged the door for you already, assuming you wouldn't have figured out how to do this. And she just kind of like pushes her <laughs> finger in between and just like slightly pushes the door open and it opens. Well, now opens if, I, just... if I don't let the elephant free, I've been upstaged. <laughs> uh, he kind of looks, you kind of open the door and he's holding the, the lifeless body. He says, oh, that would have been good to know. He just drops I'm... it to the ground and ka-choom, lands. Could you tuck that behind the door, please? Not in the middle of... Is this your first rodeo? Oh, yeah. I've never stolen anything like this before. This is fun. Uh, and he grabs the, uh, <laughs> the robot <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, no. takes it, just kind of like tosses it uh, <laughs> into the darkened hallway. Baby made a mistake. I really want to keep him. No, I really want to keep, keep him. Can we keep him? Oh, we're keeping him. <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> uh <laughs> I get. He goes, Is all he right. going in the room? He says, uh, he kind of like cracks his neck. He says, all right, I have to stay quiet on this one. He kind of like skulks down and begins to move into the uh, into the room. Just again, He's fully. He's just like incredulous. Like, this just is a man who has confused. never known a consequence in his life uh, as he starts to uh, like creep backwards into the room. She's uh, going to like re-rig the door and just like follow this idiot <laughs> into <laughs> his room. <laughs> While this is happening, uh, so you get the message from uh, <laughs> from Splat. I, uh, I send one back as soon as this happens. That's like, that I, I'm babysitting apparently now, and it's not for you. <laughs> she sends it to both Shiro and Splat. Like, I'm babysitting now, it is not for either of you. So I'm sure you guys will know what that means. Uh, Shiro, you're in the back room and uh, looking. You, I'd say you kind of get that message, uh, but you have your your plan here. What do you do? I can't let the the prince just like bust up in here. That would be ridiculous. Uh, and trouble for him, and also trouble for us being associated with him. I'm gonna let the elephant free. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, With the idea that in the chaos, I'm going to steal the keychain. <laughs> all right. So you head up to the security kind of perimeter for this uh, for this elephant. Um, you just trying to like break the device that's holding it, uh, that's keeping this like electro fence in place. Yeah, I think so. I'm still disguised as um as an Orion, so I'm gonna try to make it look like one of the Orions went rogue and like <laughs> zapped the 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 field and let it free. Okay. I'm just like imagining Shiro like pretending to like malfunction and then like fall into this thing and like zaps it. Just yep. a couple seconds of doing the robot. Yeah. This are fun. <laughs> uh so what you're disguising like an attack against just the just the device um by fumbling into it yeah pretty much okay i'm gonna have you just make uh, i'm not gonna have you make like an attack or anything i'm just gonna have you do like a like a performance uh okay. see how convincing it is just in case something is I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty good at that pretty good at that i have a vibro dagger if that helps the situation sure yeah Ooh, uh, 24. 24. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, you walk towards it. Again, your vibro dagger kind of disguised from the illusion you've created. Uh, you, uh, kind of stumble forward, uh, and smash into the, uh, device as you do it kind of, and the this electric uh perimeter uh this cage that was in sort of fades away uh leaving just between you and this uh <laughs> this astral elephant um which you can see kind of like uh glides forward a bit as the cage oh, moves guy. away uh and uh, as soon as you do you hear a um like a chime through the room, it's like ching, ching. Uh, and then manifesting in the center of the room is the like artificial intelligence sphere that you've seen before, uh, and it flashes for a second, glows green. You see, kind of like it like scans the area, uh, and then uh, you hear a uh, another kind of like lower chime ching, uh, as uh, the uh, four apertures at the top of the ceiling slide open and zoom, uh, four like spheres uh, come descending out from it uh, which begin to move toward over towards the elephant uh, and uh, again there's no like alarm sounding or anything slap um, its ass and send it running <laughs> Uh, as they move towards the elephant, uh, and as they do, you can see like these uh, like drops out from this like these uh, kind of like probe-looking devices that begin to spark with electricity as they move over towards the elephant and try to like corral it back. It's like tss, tss, uh, electric, uh, electrically like, prodding the uh, the elephant, uh, uh, which lets out a massive uh, just this like reverberation from its core. Uh, it uh, howls and begins to thrash around the room, just like, kush, kush. Uh, and you see the sphere again, kind of. Ching, ching, uh, shines a bit again uh, and back in the main room uh, <laughs> uh, splat from where you're sitting suddenly uh, the without the room dimming uh, actually the lights could probably come on a bit more uh, the sphere uh, reappears the um, uh, the AI uh, uh, manifests again in the room uh, and says Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please remain in the main hall for uh, a moment, we're having a technical disturbance uh, in our facility. I promise you it is quite safe. However, uh, we recommend you uh, remain in the main hall for your safety. Thank you. Uh, and then soon disappears. Uh, Niren immediately gets a psychic whisper that says, um, was that your new baby? Have you replaced me, or am I still your favorite? <laughs> You'll always be my favorite. And, and no, I don't think that was us. That was Niren. a joke, Mom. But also, what's going on? Niren, you hear that howl of the uh, of the elephant down the hall as you and the, as the friends, uh, the prince stops uh, and says, "What was that?" 
doesn't sound good. Let's go check it out. Uh, and he, he goes rushing forward down the I'm hall. supposed to be a bored socialite. <laughs> uh shiro this thing is now like thrashing in the room and like destroying these drones that are prodding at it you can see it slowly like becoming enraged uh yes. quickly becoming enraged is, is this during albert rage is this during the third uh auction the, no the... it had nothing has gone up on it. there's nothing ah. being auctioned off currently yeah okay <laughs> It's fine. Uh, everyone's us to steal everyone's this talking you amongst themselves. Tell, you have to tell somebody to steal a crystal. Yeah, nobody knows about that shit. You have kept that close to the vest. We don't know you want it. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I'm not worried about that so much okay. as uh, you guys do you th your thing. I think I'm gonna have to go after Boric. I'm gonna have to at least clock him. Clock as in watch, or clock as in hit. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, Shiro, what are you doing? Stealing. Stealing. How big Did is this? Does? How big is this crystal? Uh, the crystal? Yeah. Uh, it's in a small box. Uh, so you've got Stealable. three kind of small items, uh, which is like the planetoid, uh, the keychain, and the crystal. Uh, it's in a box about that big. I am using uh, the chaos and my force mask to snatch up the little things. Because <laughs> the force uh, mask makes everything on my person sort of meld into my disguise. Alright. Um, I'm going so to have you steal. I'm, I'm going to have steal. you make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Uh, contested by Orion's perception. Okay. That's fine. It's a robot that's its whole thing is security. There's no way it's good at this. Oh god. Hold on. Party bell. <laughs> it flew. It flew. Flying dice. Ooh. 23. 23. Uh, you snatch up the... Uh, I'm gonna actually, okay, here's what I'm gonna say. You're going for all three. Uh, so which one are you grabbing first? Keychain. Keychain? All right, you snatch the keychain off the pedestal, uh, pocketing it as the thing thrashes around the room. Uh, you can see the uh, a couple of the other Orion bots have now activated, so you're one of like three in this room right now that are kind of moving uh, in the same vicinity. Uh, I'm the... pretending, I'm pretending to the <laughs> uh the uh artificial intelligence uh <laughs> the uh is like still kind of like pulsing in the middle of the room and like scanning around uh as these droids are now still trying to corral this elephant but it seems to only be enraging it more uh you have the keychain which one are you going to go for next which hero grab I'm gonna grab the crystal because he knows what the planetoid is. Okay. And is sort of fascinated by this little shiny thing that he doesn't know what it is, but it's in a box, so it's probably important. Sure. Uh, make a, another sleight of hand. Okay. I'm so stressed right now. Natural 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, you snatch the uh, the other crystal, just like pocketing it uh, very uh, calmly. You do see the uh, the uh, elephant uh, continue to thrash around. Uh, it kind of like charges forward. I'm gonna have you make a dexterity saving throw to try to avoid okay. getting uh, trampled by it. That's okay. That's my best one. Uh, Twenty four. Okay, you dodge out of the way, uh, uh, moving to the side as the thing crashes in the corner of the room. Uh, the the like facility almost shakes at this, and the uh, uh, <laughs> near and you and the prince feel like he kind of like loses his footing for a second as the whole facility kind of doom, like trembles to the she, like, to the side. Re reflexes just like grabs him really quickly. No, oh, thank you. Uh, he continues running forward. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, are you going for the planetoid too? 
I mean, I think I got it. All right, make it. It's right there. Too. What am I making? Uh, or sorry, another uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand still. That's another natural twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> I will take a picture of it right now. You can uh, all see my hands. <laughs> I believe you. Explode. Uh, you grab the, uh, the last, uh, item off as this thing is crashing around the room. Um, the Orion sphere, the AI, uh, seems to like, it focuses in on you for a second and you just hear like throughout the room, it says, undesignated Orion bot, please respond. I point to the sign that says voice box under maintenance 5% complete. 5% update complete. Uh, you see the other ones like begin to leave the room as this like thrashing is continuing. Uh, and it says, your communicator isn't working. Please vacate the premises immediately. I vacate the premises. Uh, the, uh, thing, you follow the other bots, like, down the hall, uh, at the same time, uh, Niren, you, and the prince come, like, running down and are greeted by three Orion bots that are coming, uh, like, in the opposite direction, and the two that are at the front, uh, step forward, you see, the one in the back is moving a bit strangely, uh, <laughs> and has a little, also uh, got a weird voice sign. box mouth, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> and the, uh, the two at the front, or one of the ones at the front says, this is a restricted zone, and we're currently suffering a containment breach. If you could please follow us to the exit. Uh, and the prince like stops and uh, looks to you and looks back forward. Uh, and I'm just going to make, I'm going to make a good boy roll for the prince. I'll That's tackle. a natural one. I'll uh, he says, Right, 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 okay. Ha! And, like, charges forward <laughs> at the Orion bots. <laughs> what do y'all do? Why is he like this? I love him. <laughs> he's so dumb. God, he's stupid. I feel, like, I feel like I'm on a mission with Teenage Hercules right now. Right? <laughs> uh, all of the columns in the Agora are about to I fall. Know. Uh, I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna go and pull I'm... up his sheet here. He's gonna make an attack roll. Like this, this front one here. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, that's a 12, which does hit. Uh, <laughs> he just, like, rushes forward and, like, kicks this first one in the chest. These things aren't really built for combat, uh, and it falls to the ground, uh, kind of sparking a bit as it stands back up. The other one moves forward to try to, uh, to restrain him. I, I'm just gonna... I'm I'm so sorry. He's had way too much to drink, and she's just gonna grab the prince and like like turn his head to look at her. She's gonna be like, "It, we're leaving now. Forget <laughs> the dare. We, it, come, just come with." I I it, put a vibro <laughs> dagger in the back of the other Orion that's in front of me. <laughs> Good. Uh, go to make an attack roll with advantage. It doesn't know. Dumb boys. Dumb boys. Okay, that's bad. That's uh, uh, 13? Uh, 13 hits. Whew! Oh, like it. This is a, a d4. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 kinetic damage. With your, uh, do you have sneak attack? Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> so 7 plus. Uh, 11 more. So 18 so total. 18? Uh, is it exactly 18 hit points? Uh, you <laughs> drive the, the dagger in his back, twisting it, the thing, and then fall, collapses to the ground. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have Nier and you make a, a persuasion check. 
With advantage? No. Am I helping? No, not in uh, this regard. That is a 16. <laughs> 16, okay. I'm going to have him make a uh, wisdom check. I mean, I have a plan if it if he if I if I fail at this, she's just gonna say fuck it and kill it. The other one. Okay. So he I... rolls he rolls a seventeen with a minus one wisdom. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna say you you win on the tie. So he pauses. Uh, like he pauses. Okay. Uh, he goes. No, you're not just trying to make me lose the dare, are you? <sighs> no, fine. And she just like lifts up her like. Uh, skirt and pulls her like vibra blade out from uh, under it and s runs the <laughs> other one through with it. All right, make an attack with advantage on that one. It's prone. He turns around just in time to see one Orion bot shank the other Orion bot and looks and says, "That's a fifteen to I make the hit. display wink at him." <laughs> uh, that's a what? Fifteen to hit. That hits. Okay. And so that'll be, oh, that's a D8. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Okay, I'll say you, with him being knocked down, I took a little bit of damage from the kick from the uh, from the prince. You are uh, able to destroy this other one, leaving just the fake Orion bot uh, Shira remaining. You kind of wink at him, and he's it looks to you near and says, "Did you reprogram one of these?" Drop the act, babe. I'll drop it. We're yeah. fucked at this point. I've stabbed a robot. Oh, Shiro. Keith. So, <laughs> or Keith, right. Keith, what? I thought you were, you were trying to. Beat you to it. You gotta be quicker than it's, that. Yeah, it's kind of his thing. If you ever you're get both, dead to do something, he like tries to beat you to it. You're both very good at this. Have you done this before? Oh, we're good at a lot of things. As that, as you say that, behind you in the hall, you hear, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, the elephant goes charging straight past. Like, again, we're looking like at a T junction or like a cross junction in the hallway. It just goes whoosh, uh, past you in the background. Uh, I also love goes, animals. Is that an astral elephant? Yeah. Looks like it. And I think it's got this handled. Uh, I'm just like the, waiting for it to like charge down the hallway towards the door that we're at and just like moving the prince out of the uh, way. It's like, going, it's it's going the, towards it's a the different boulder door. in the Indiana uh, Jones movie. Yeah. Uh, it's going to a different door as Splat, out in the main room, you just finished this conversation with uh, the uh, with Sirius. Um, and the vroom AI comes up again and says, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please make your way to an exit, we regret to inform you that, and then boosh, the doors explode onto the main dais as the astro elephant comes roaring out into the room. Well. And everyone begins to scream. <laughs> cool. I don't think I'm doing anything with Bork Falsador on this one. Um... I'm just gonna die for cover for now. I need to. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna run out. Uh, no, I'm gonna send a psychic message uh, to Niren and be like, "Well, this is exciting. Where are you going? Where do I meet you? We. Where do we meet you? Let's meet outside down the steps. <laughs> you get back really fast. Out east. front. Out Excellent. Front. Yep. Out front sounds good. That's where everyone's going. <laughs> Uh, I guess if I can do anything while running, I'd like to try to clock Falsador. Um, yeah, you see everyone screaming, some people running for the exit, some people hiding under t under tables um, as this thing is like flying around the room, smashing into things, trying to find a way to get out. Uh, yes, queen. <laughs> the Magnetera. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can see that Sirius Frostman immediately moves towards the Oracle, who seems to like very calmly stand. Uh, they don't seem like they're going to fight this thing. Uh, they just be begin to make their way towards the exit. Uh, they don't look like they're necessarily worried about their safety. Uh, uh, more like 
Sirius looks concerned about the Oracle safety. The Oracle is just kind of calmly leaving. That's fine. I'm not going to fuck with them. That I, uh, They're way <laughs> out of my league when it comes you see to psychic shit. But Falsador. A, a bunch of people leaving. Falsador appears to be one of the people kind of getting like choked at like the exit trying to like get out the door one of the side doors okay if that's the case i want to do this i'm going to use um uh are these doors large enough that there is some headroom over the people who are going out of them uh are they like large and ordained yeah enough? yeah 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 there's okay. they're grand enough that there's there's some headroom there okay um, then I'm going to uh, grab Fulsador and I'm going to say, you owe me for this. And I'm going to use instinctive movement and I'm going to uh, lizard walk my way up the side of the wall, drag him along and get him out. <laughs> okay. That's just a force power you can, uh, you can yeah, cast. Yeah, it costs. Yeah, it costs me a, a, a side point. power. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. You I don't have to roll dice to see if I explode in this game, though. <laughs> Thankfully. Is that like a um, really powerful feeling? <laughs> it's it's really nice when spells just happen. Uh, you grab him and just begin to uh, uh, to like lizard walk along the walls. He's like, oh, oh, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and uh, you are like running over the people with them. I'll say you come out on the other side. Uh, Niren, Shiro, and the prince uh, are like running down the hall you can see back in the main room the prince's security are like panicking looking for him uh as they're looking around the room and i know i'm I'm, I'm gonna link my arm in his and like wave at his security like he's right here he's okay Um, we're playing the like rich people again now that we're out in the room they're trying to push through a crowd you're trying to get through everybody's kind of filtering through the exits we can say that uh, if you want to spot you can kind of meet up with Niren and Shiro and the yeah I want to I want to give just um I'm going to give Boric a slap on the butt and then just fade into the crowd and as soon as I'm out of his visual range morph back into normal teenage platform uh and go running up to uh Shira and Niren. Yeah. I am going to say to the prince, uh, if you were going to lose your security, now's the time. Uh, kind of like looks to you. Make a persuasion check. Okay. I'll give you advantage. Okay. Uh, what's 18 plus 9? 27. 27. Uh, <laughs> He looks at you, looks like kind of back over the crowd as security is getting like, again, they're getting blocked by everyone trying to leave and says, well, all right, you lead the way. We're kidnapping a prince. <laughs> is it kidnapping if he are wants to go? Are we taking him to our ship? Like, where are we going with oh, this that, guy? Oh, uh, that <laughs> doesn't seem like my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I would also, uh, can I take one one quick step back? Is there any chance that I could uh, pickpocket uh, Forcedor's, uh like tablet or whatever out of him whenever I give him a little butt you smack or whenever? Ooh, I like could, that. Yeah, definitely yeah. try. Make a uh, sleight of hand check. Okay. I'll five. also give you advantage with like the commotion here. Fuck yeah, advantage. I'm going to click the button there. Advantage. And we're going to roll. And one of those is a 23. What's the other one? 23? Yeah, 23. I got uh, tonight. You grab his uh, his tablet. As he, he looks back, he says, It's really not the time for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, Oh shit. Uh, as you see the elephant like <laughs> crashing into the wall above the crowd. Everyone screams. Uh, everyone's running out through the door. Uh, are all of you heading out to the balcony? I'm just We're, meeting up with you guys. You guys have to have the plan now. I okay. We're are heading we, out to get the fuck out of here and go are we somewhere. Go, are we going but, back like, to the ship or are we like, oh, like let's go should, to like a hotel or like? Where yeah, we, I feel like we should go plan? to like a hotel. Like I don't think we should bring him back to our ship. No, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, we're running out and okay. So if we were to run out onto the balcony, like where does that? Uh, well, Where does that right, take us? Like uh, the balcony takes you to like the stairs that we're leaving down. However, the uh, it, Cosmic Infinity Auction is currently hovering. Uh, right. The auction house is currently hovering uh, about like seventy-five to one hundred feet in the air. Uh, 
Okay, hang on. I don't have anything for this. I can survive it, but <laughs> that what, help uh, you guys. <laughs> what's what's beneath us? Is it land? Uh, or is it I'm just, water? I'm gonna roll a little fortune check here. If it's oh, water, wow. can we jump? <laughs> if it's water, we're jumping. So the fourteen. You see, uh, as the Cosmic Infinity Auction House is like hovering over, uh, it's kind of gliding. You see, like it is like repositioned, like it is heading back down, but it's probably going to take a bit for it to get uh, back down to ground level. But you see beneath you, you hear like uh, the sound of like roller coasters and stuff, uh, and you see the uh, I will say with a fourteen. Uh, there is a uh, you see a large water slide with a pool uh, down at the uh, uh, the fun land the uh, uh, Idis theme park here. So we can like effectively I'm we can jump, baby. <laughs> yeah, we can jump onto the water slide to go down. Uh, you could try that, yeah. Uh, or that would probably if you could make it to the water slide, you can probably negate all damage if you're able to time that jump correctly uh if you just jump straight aiming for the water it'll probably lessen the fall damage that you're gonna take <laughs> there's no i think niren and shiro see the water slide at the same time look at each other <laughs> look at splat <laughs> and just yeah like i think niren's I... gonna like throw herself and pull the prince probably with her since she's not amphibious um to the water slide. Okay. If you I can him, make like you want him to go with you? I I, well, I don't know. I just I feel like a Cuz if we hit 90 wrong, foot I can drop. Swing him out. Good point. All right, if you think you can survive that fall into water, then you can take him. But I feel like with like an acrobatics check, I can get onto this water slide. I'm how feeling good about how my good's your acrobatics. It's like a plus 7. So is mine. <laughs> <laughs> so your your choice dealer, dealer's choice for you on whether or not you isn't near like a monk yes yes uh, yeah you take him you take him yeah, do you have okay. slow fall yet i don't think so i don't know when you get that as a monk i don't know uh, if you do you get that in this probably but yeah but there's there's a look. similar ability uh, uh, so oh, well, i still have how many hit points slow falls have? level four. Oh, is it yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I do have slow fall. Oh, you take him. So I just didn't add reduce, that to my character sheet. You yeah. reduce uh, any fall damage you take by twenty five. Okay. You take him. I will. Uh, I will team up with Splat. Okay. Because I think between right. the two of us, we can. We can do this. Who's jumping towards the water slide and who's jumping towards the water? I'm jumping towards the water slide and I'm taking the prince with me. I will take splat and I will jump for the water. Okay. What what's the what's the difference in what will have What's to gonna do? happen? Yeah. Uh I'm gonna say anybody just going straight towards the water uh is gonna take uh ten D six fall damage. Uh, but I'm going to reduce that uh, based on you going in. I'm going to have that based on y'all jumping into water. Um, and I'm amphibious and a swimmer, so I feel like that. Yeah, that, I mean, that'll help sense. you, like, yeah. getting out. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about drowning. Um, not that yeah. I mean, it's like a pool, so it's not like super No, no, deep, yeah. But... Shiro's going for the water. Um, uh, anyone going for the water slide can completely negate the damage if they can exceed on, succeed on a acrobatics check. Uh, to make that jump. Uh, okay, now wait. I What if I pumped up my jumping ability? I have a question. I'd give you advantage on the acrobatics check. Yes. Okay. I think I'm confused. You made it sound like we had to do one of each. Well, so if you're going towards the water slide, uh, again, like big, like apparatus, you know, like with supports and stuff like that. Yeah. Water slide, top of it, you can hit that, which will take you down to the pool that it lets out in. If you just bank on just going straight towards the pool, That's you land in the question. water. Yeah, sorry. The My question was, you made it sound like we had to choose, like, okay, if Niren is going for the water slide, then we can't do that and then have to go for the water. No, no, no. All of you can, can, I, can we thing. also go for the water slide? Mm -hmm. I will okay. tell you, if you fail on the check, then you're going to hit hard surface and you're okay. not going to 
but my I'm proficient. Okay. I misunderstood because I thought yeah. you were saying, okay, one of us can go for the water slide and one of us can go for the water. Yeah. So is the water slide within thirty feet? Uh no. Okay. I think we're just gonna dive. I'll take you with me. My acrobatics is really good. I, with the psychic power I have running, I'm going to take so little damage from this anyway. Uh, and it also, like, I'll be fine once I hit the water, too. I think it, it'd be almost more dangerous for you to try to take me along with. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm fine with sending cool. all of that along as, like, a psychic thought as just more of, like, a... I appreciate that. We we appreciate it. Don't worry about us. Hands on your face. Worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so you leap off towards the wa- towards the pool. Um, the uh, you're not taking. You're not trying to take. Like if it's Boric to come with you, you kind of like you're leaving. Oh no, I tried to leave him behind. As okay, like cool. I'm fully back now as um, as, as regular splat. teenage splat too. So Got yeah, it. hopefully he wouldn't. All right. Uh, so, Shiro and Niren, where are you jumping towards? Water slide. Water slide. Okay. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to look at the friends. I'm going to be like, this is going to be really scary, but it's also going to be really fun. <laughs> and she's going to pull him with her. All right. I'm going to so dive two... right behind them just in case. All right. That's going to turn into a mermaid halfway down the fall. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Uh, so here's what I will say for those of you going towards the water slide. Uh, so Sharon or Shiro, you can make a Shiro. Uh, Shiro, Shiro. <laughs> uh, Shiro, you can make an athletics check normal. Uh, I thought it was acrobatics. I thought it was acrobatics. Or a- acrobatics, sorry. Oh acrobatics. god, I just panicked uh, a little bit. <laughs> same. You just give me a heart attack. You can either make one for yourself, or you can. Uh, the prince has a plus five uh, for Ooh. acrobatics. So. He either you can make one with disadvantage or you can both make yours separately. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna make it with disadvantage. I'd okay. like to control this. Alright, go ahead and make your roll. Well the first one was a nat 20. Alright. Could I, I'm sorry, I know this is a little bit backtracky, but we have so many abilities and it's hard to keep track of all of uh-huh. them all the time. No, it's fine. Is, it, is there any way I could have put my um, critical, analysis. Uh, critical analysis on uh, Niren, knowing that Niren was the one taking the place? Sure. Yeah, you okay. could have. So you can use a reaction to apply my intelligence modifier, which is a plus three, to any ability uh, attack roll or savings throw in the next like 10 minutes or something, I think. I can look that up. But surely enough time for you. So to, extra plus you know, three. Fall. Yeah. Well, my other one was a 17, which makes it a 24. 24. Okay. Uh, what did Shiro got? 27. Damn, y'all. I rolled a natural 20. Crazy. Yeah. I love, love you. <laughs> Uh, so the two of you leap towards the water slide and you catch it perfectly as you're dragging the prince with you, who's just like laughing as he goes, <laughs> uh, again, has absolutely oh, no sense of self-preservation. So uh, the, they you, have never dealt with the consequences in their entire life. <laughs> there are a couple like kids that are waiting to get on the water slide and suddenly three bodies just doof, 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 <laughs> hit the top of the slide perfectly. One in like an evening gown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit the top of the slide perfectly and just like I... with crazy speed, uh, begin to zoom <laughs> to swerve down the slide. Shiro? I just remembered what I was wearing. I'm what dressed as Sandy from Greece. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. With like the deepest of Vs. <laughs> the deep V, the big tentacle pompadour. Yeah. Your God, leather that pants. Makes At least you have on pants. I do <laughs> have on pants. I'm going ass out. On I am. This. I am in, in a slide. in a jumpsuit, which <laughs> kind of kind of like a jumpsuit scenario with a jacket over it. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, that makes it so much gown. better. <laughs> uh, you begin to just at an insane speed. Oh, he's dressed like Maverick. Speed. This is so fitting. I <laughs> yeah. forgot about he that. He is dressed like Maverick from Top Gun. Yep. Uh, so you be at an insane speed begin to take this water slide, just zoom, 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 uh, down circles. Uh, you hit the water, just rocketing out the bottom, like skipping like a stone across the surface. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I almost said Ziggy because your uh, Zoom still says that. Uh, oh, splat, yeah. uh, you uh, you hit the water. You said something to negate damage. So um, the uh, instinctive movement spell that I used to uh, uh, save Fulsador, um, I get two uses out of it within a minute, uh, and I use the other one. It does a, a million th- lines of text, but the, uh, the one that's really important here is uh, I've uh, resistance to falling damage. Oh, nice. Okay. So what would be 37 points of damage that you take reduced to half to uh, 18 reduced to half for your resistance, uh, you take nine points of falling damage uh, as you, spoosh, as a mermaid, yeah. slam into the water. <laughs> Uh, and and, and as, I will, as as the strong swimmer and the one that can breathe water, I will sort of like push the other two, like, all right, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm <laughs> in a silk gown. This is not made for swimming. I will. So. <laughs> I, I think Shiro, like, oh. Niren had her cool moment, so now I have my cool moment where I'm gonna run up. I'm it's run up. I'm gonna swim up, and I'll grab both of them by the waist and just because I am a merman. Uh, out. as you all you all make your way to the water, like soaking wet through your nice clo- your vintage earth fashion uh, they were free <laughs> splat you come swimming up as a mermaid a bunch of the kids in the pool are like looking at you like very excitedly like is this a new attraction a fully gross leg <laughs> like the fin separates into legs and there's like <laughs> yeah. noise as, it, as, as you it... all climb out um... <laughs> now I want to watch splash uh, and I'm just standing there, like <laughs> arms, arms around both their waists, like pulling them out of the water. Like, okay, uh, yeah, pretty good. As for you one reach, evening. as you reach the edge of the water, some people are like panicking, looking, in, like looking up at the uh, cosmic infinity auction that is like flying overhead. You see, you still hear some screaming from above, and then you see as an astral elephant goes flying out from the top of the auction house and out into the distance. Be um, free! <laughs> um, the, uh, as you're kind of soaking wet, pulling up on a pole, you see one of like the nicely dressed like attendees for the parks, uh, the androids walk over uh, and uh, <clears throat> one of them says, the one says, excuse me, but do you have, and then ding, ah, Thank you, our Stella Platinum Luxury Experience holders. We do enjoy. We hope you're enjoying your stay. I think the experience comes with the hotel room, right? Uh, the prince who like pulls himself out of the water, like uh, I think, and it just no. Like, I'm a, helping him, and it's hot. Yeah, yeah. You pull him out. You pull him out of the water. He's he's on the edge of the pool, and a full like helping you know, him strip off his leather. Chris jacket. Hemsworth <laughs> display in any movies, and like peels off his wet T-shirt I'm and like just, rings it out. I'm just imagining Shiro as like full on like Jason Momoa as Aquaman right yeah. now. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. the vision that I have in my head. Yeah. It's tentacles instead of the hair, <laughs> but it's basically the same. yeah. Uh, and he just like tosses the wet shirt uh, behind him and puts the jacket back on. Just lands uh, on a child. <laughs> yeah, just right in the face. And he says, "Oh, I've got a room. Don't worry about it." <clears throat> I kind of want to do that again. Does anybody else want to do that again? It's that always was tomorrow. fucking awesome. All right. Who's this? Hi, we're Splat. You're the. Oh, we should leave now. We should leave now. All right. Uh, Armor on Splat's shoulders like, come on. Splat fully does not want to get rid of the Cruella de Vil coat either, which is, you know, 400 pounds now and just like slurping along behind. Oh, we're going to have to ring that out. We'll head back to my penthouse at the Nebula. Uh, This way. Okay. Uh, and uh, just like confidently, again, shirtless, jacket only, uh, walking through the crowd, still like soaking wet, like shoes, his boots kind of click, click, click as he's walking, uh, <laughs> just very confidently through the crowd uh, as he heads towards the Nebula Casino. Uh, <laughs> she was like, throws an arm around Splat, like, okay, I'm not that lame. That was pretty cool. Did you let out the astral elephant? Yes. Okay. All right. 
I'm just saying, think about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trying... Elbows. Trying to impress what you think is a teenager. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, come on, kiddo. <laughs> uh, and as with your arm around uh, Splat, all of you soaking wet, you uh, walking off through the park towards the uh, towards the nebula. And that's unfortunately where we're going to call our session for tonight. Boo. That was Boo. a fun one, though. That was great. <laughs> that was wild. It started off like so, we were all so self-conscious about our choices and forgetting what these characters did. And then the last half was just utter fucking chaos. And I'm so proud of us. We got there. We mm -hmm. did. We got there. We remembered. I, I think we, these people we are. act better when someone just throws a grenade in the middle of the room. Sometimes yeah. you gotta set an elephant free. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you gotta. That needs to be a fucking shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I think y'all act better. Y'all act best under pressure. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, we just gotta keep constant pressure on you. I, I think uh, that is true. I think when you just when you leave us with no pressure, we're like, eh. Uh, all right. Well, that'll be it, everyone. Uh, I think we did Stars and Wishes last time, so we can do Stars and Wishes again. Uh, don't remember. It's been a calendar year since we played this game. Uh, so who wants to go first? I'll go. Go for it. Uh, mine's going to go to Shiro slash Van for releasing the elephant. Um, so I said it as a joke as Plan D, and then you did it, and it made me so unbelievably happy. Um, that was just like absolute fucking chaos, and it was so funny. I just um, don't also, think animals should be in cages. No, I don't either, and I love that. That's why I suggested it, because I was like, well, fuck all the zoos, and this feels like a person who's collecting like zoo animals throughout the... No, bye let the elephant free i hope it lives a long and happy life and finds his people um and then bonus star to um val for <laughs> making the prince just do the dumbest shit in the back of the room like it was just chaos from start to finish that whole like progression i was like oh god i'm gonna have to like distract this guy while Shiro like finishes this but nope nope he killed a fucking Orion bot and then went in and tried to kill another one. And I was like, what is happening? And it made me really happy. It, I did not expect that at all. And it totally threw me for a loop. A lot of me hopes y'all keep the prince with you. Oh, under this illusion of y'all are just, again, under the guise of y'all being just like thrill seeking. Our, ship, our uh, ship looks like we could just be build socially. We're basically on a fucking speed boat. Yeah, we because... could just like, we could put it in sort of like cabaret. We could put the ship in cabaret mode and just like go. Well, yeah, he's we fully going to continue. We've got like multiple modes even. We don't, we yeah. Could, yeah. 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 He's fully going to continue in this like life as a simulation uh, sort of mentality. <laughs> and... He's just going to be down for the ride for a while and I love that. And then us. the first time he gets shot in the stomach, he's just going to be like, oh no. No, 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 life no, has consequences. No, 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 no. Or consequences. I hate it. Take me back to my. Or daddy. is that going to be the thing that like unlocks his true form? Yeah, I then he goes super got a saiyan. Bit of that there. Yeah. Yeah, that was just really fun, and I loved it. And my wish is that we get to keep him. I want to keep this this idiot. I don't know. I don't like if we can keep him for a while. I'd be really happy about it. I just the, think he's so funny. The like, polycule potential. The polycule potential <laughs> is unreal. Like living a dream. Oh, I'm just God. saying. We'll have to see. Like maybe he'll Niren, be the thing Niren that finally two himbos. gets <laughs> Niren and Shiro to talk about their feelings. <laughs> Niren and the Let's two. See that himbos. conversation. Uh, uh, it's really great. Yeah. All right. I got to go next then because I got to piggyback on all of that. Um, my star has got to go to Val for making the prince the most <laughs> likable damn NPC I've seen in a minute. I I just like you do a lot of likable NPCs, but it's um, I don't know. I just don't get attached to NPCs that much. You you made this guy do a couple of things, and I'm like, oh, we can't. He can't. We can't move on beyond his story. We gotta keep. We're keeping it. You derailed your campaign by so, making this man. So, uh, so yeah. So that's also my wish as well. We have to keep the prince, Prince Quintus Qualius Quintardius. <laughs> if any of Quintilius. you can say his name uh, in full, I will give you an. I could hold not on. <laughs> one of them is Julian. Close. Julius. No. There's definitely a Q. Prince Justinian. Justinian. 
No, we're gonna keep them because our roles and our role playing earn it. You fuck. Yeah. It no, does, no, no. I was saying if y'all can say his name, I'm gonna give y'all a level right now. If you can say. Oh. It's... Well, I mean, in our defense, I think you've said it literally twice to us in the last oh, six months. Oh, so. uh, in the last in in our last two sessions, I've seen it. I think I've said it like five or six times, but it has been like two months since the. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So right, I say Carter's full name a lot, and people, it, it, it's I've, still. I've put I've put Rachel in hyperfixation mode. Uh, Sorry, I'm yeah. I don't think I wrote the whole name down. It's uh, something to Bastille de Carter. You were close. Prince Justinian, uh, <laughs> some Prince Justinian, fucking something of solace. Yeah, the two I, names in there. Okay, so, I, mean, I know, I know, I'm missing. Hey, Val. I'm so mad at myself. Uh -huh. Hey Val. If you never put it in writing for us, <laughs> then I, uh, your challenge is ableist. That's pretty fair. Mm. I got to read it. <laughs> because I'm better at reading than I am listening. But we're going to check them. to see if I've pasted it somewhere. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you let's... have not. I checked. I searched the chat. I was chat. pretty proud of myself for Prince Justinian <laughs> of Solace, but I did not write down his full name. I searched the chat. Long, it's and I was taking there, extensive so. notes. It is in the chat. No, it's it's in our it's in our Discord. No, I just found it. Well, the problem is I don't fucking know how to spell it. <laughs> hard to uh, anyway. search for something you've never seen written. <laughs> Prince Justinian like a... Quantus Banriel of Solisk. <laughs> yeah, found it. Yay. There you go. I'll level up. All right. Uh, did you have a wish? Uh, it's yeah, to, to keep, keep the that prince. motherfucker. Okay, to keep yeah, him. Okay, yeah. I didn't remember if yeah, that was. I the can't wish wait until Splat and him talk. That's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be buds. They're gonna yeah. be buddies. <laughs> well, and I love you already. You already revealed that he has a, like a negative one wisdom score, which is yeah. Splat's highest ability score. So there's got to be some like weird, like, oh, okay, you're a little different, aren't you? You know. <laughs> and I think that'll go both ways. But anyway, yeah, that's yeah. all me. Awesome, Van. Uh, my star is gonna go to Splat. Just purely, it's a. It was a very singular moment, but I thought it was really fun to hear it in Splat's voice, um, which was turning around and saying, "Oh, I thought you were someone else." <laughs> Mostly for the look on Sita's face, uh, for the like, "Oh, I misread the situation." Uh, but playing it through Splat was very good, and I loved it. And my wish is to keep the prince. Um, three wishes. I guess I have to grant it now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that is time for us, everyone. Thank you, everyone out there for watching. We will be back. Uh, we gotta check the calendar. I think two weeks. Uh, but we'll <laughs> we'll have to look. Uh, we will in the meantime join Saturday for a double header. Like I said, the top Strixhaven, Hearts of Stone. Uh, be there. Be square. I say Strixhaven. We're doing Candlekeep Mysteries, but. Uh, it is the Strixhaven Quartet. Well, the title of the show uh, is still Strixhaven. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Join for everything. Exactly. Uh, everything else in the meantime, join Discord and all that fun stuff. Thank you to my lovely players for making this game a joy to run. And thank you, everyone out there, for watching. We will see you in two weeks. And until next time, good game and good night, Internet.